Hello everyone, pretty neat update today concerning the UI part of the talent tree system. This is about those lines which you can see now from one ability to another. And uh, of course this new update is uh, working for you know all kind of trees, so combat trees, crafting trees, gathering trees. But for this video, we'll be looking at a combat tree I just created, which is, you know, something I call the mage tree. It doesn't really matter what abilities are in it, extra. We don't really care about that. It's more about showing you how this, um, these lines are working and um, how it is set up. So if you didn't know yet, um, the UI part of the trees of RPG Builder is 100% generated. So you are the one who choose which ability should be in it, extra but RPG Builder is taking care of this UI for you. If you did not watch the previous video, I'm going to be showing you how this works. So if you go to the RPG Builder editor, go to the Combat Trees module and select the Mage one or whatever tree you want to modify, you know, in this case, it's the Mage one. You see that we have this list of all the abilities we have in this tree here. And they all have a tier and a row value. So if we look at the Fireball here, we see that the tier is one and the row is four. Very easy, um, chair is one. So this is the first horizontal line here. And the row is one, two, three, four. So the fourth slot, um, if you now wanted it to be, you know, on the second chair, but still on the fourth slot, we could just save that, close it to our refresh. And you see that the variable went from here to here. And this is why I make this video today, because you see that those lines are 100% dynamic and updated based on this um, node position. Also, one last thing, how did this line appear here? Like, why is there a line from here to here, but not from here to here, for example? Once again, it's 100% automated for you. And the way it works is that um, we'll go back to the tree and you see that um, if we look at the fire spray ability here, which is here, it has a requirement. If we now remove this requirement and save, refresh the UI, you see that there is no more line between Fireball and Fire Spray. So let's go back to that and explain a bit how this works. So if we add the requirement again, of course, you can have all types of requirement. But in this case, of um, if you want to require a specific ability to be learned for a node to be unlocked, then you can, and we will do just that. So uh, in this case, we say that this fire spray ability, so this one, can only be learned if the fireball ability is already known by your character, you know. So now we save, we refresh, and that's it. You have this line between the fireball and fire spray to tell you that, you know, these things are kind of connected and um, this one is required to be learned to know this one. And let's put back the fireball ability to the first chair so it looks a bit better in my opinion at least and i'm going to now start learning abilities so um, let's refresh and there we go so you see that if i try to learn this uh, fire spray ability right now it says uh, the fireball ability needs to be known so this is this message popping up here but if you hover any node um, at the bottom of the ui here you see that it's showing you the current requirements and the ones that are met in green and the ones that are not met in red. So in the case of Fireball, for example, right now it just tells us we need to spend one point, meaning that if I would go ahead and spend a point, we could, you know, learn it. But now, if I wanted to learn the um, Fire Spray, we can because the Fireball is known. But we still can't learn this Fire Rain one, Fire Rain, my bad, because the Fire uh, Wave is not learned. Anyway. Let's learn this uh, fireball up to maximum rank, and now we can learn the fire spray. And you know, now we can link it in a bar and uh, use it. So we can't, for example, link the uh, I mean, use the fire column because it's not learned, but we can now learn it because the fire spray one is learned. So you can do that, that, and so on. So it's looking pretty nice, in my opinion. Um, it's pretty much what you would expect from a talent tree, but this is insanely quick for you to create and iterate. You literally do not even have to uh, leave play mode to tweak this talent tree. You can just modify this here, save, see how it looks. And if you're happy with it, you just leave play mode and the next time you enter the game, it's going to look the exact same way. So that's perfect. So let's just learn everything um, because you know, why not? I think it looks pretty neat when the tree is uh, fully un unlocked. And there we go. 
you have a fully learned trees and all those lines are dynamic uh, so if uh, now you wanted to go ahead and um, I know I already showed that before but it's just to really show you how flexible this is if you wanted to now make this one uh, one more slot to the left uh, to the right my bad it's possible and everything is still working the exact same way so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope you like it i know it was something very requested by the community as well as myself to be honest um i was kind of frustrated when this was not in yet but it ended up being a bit easier than i thought it would be so pretty cool um thank you for watching and see you in the next video